In today's video, we take a look at the top five soft corals that are beautiful and easy for first time reef hobbyists. Now, if you're new to the reef hobby and your tank is finally ready for coral, then soft coral can be a great place to start because they're more forgiving to parameter swings and soft corals offer a wide variety of color for your reef tank. Now, the first coral on the list is the Kenya tree coral. Now, this coral is a fast growing coral and it adds a lot of motion to your reef tank. The Kenya tree coral grows by budding off, so it sends a little bud across your aquarium and it will attach to the different substrates and surfaces in your aquarium like the rockwork and then start to grow from there until you see a beautiful forest of Kenya trees. Just keep in mind that the Kenya tree does grow very fast and spread across your aquarium. So you wanna keep an eye on it. And if you need to prune some of this coral back because it can take over. Number two is the green star polyp. Now the green star polyp with its nice purple base and green star shaped polyps is very attractive for your reef aquarium and it's another fast growing coral. Now with green star polyps you can put these about midway in your tank even up to uh, the top part of your rock work. It does really well in either scenario even low down near the sand bed. If you want to you can isolate it to a single rock so it doesn't get out of hand because this thing can grow and overtake corals next to it and it just keeps growing and growing and growing. Now what I really like about the green star polyp is the way that it looks in your reef aquarium. It adds a lot of motion to your reef tank depending on where you put it. It does well in a variety of different flows and it's very versatile because a lot of hobbyists like to put it on the back wall of their aquarium and let it completely take over that space. If you don't have a sand bed, you can let it grow out on the bottom of your tank and create like a grassy area all over your reef. But the green of the green star polyps definitely pops in your reef aquarium. So if you're looking for a section to pop with some color, green star polyp is the way to go. Now, if you're enjoying the video, please hit that like button. And if you're new here, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button and check the description below because I have some special things in there just for you, like a 30 day audible trial and some other links that'll help you with aquarium gear. So go check those out in the description below. Number three on the list are mushroom corals. Now mushroom corals come in a variety of different colors, red, green, blue, multicolors, and there's a lot of mushrooms that are very easy to keep. Majority of mushrooms are, you have Rhodactis, you have Recordia mushrooms, you have Discosoma mushrooms, but Rhodactis corals would be on the easier side. That's what I started with. I picked up some red and green ones over 10 years ago, and I still have those with me today. So they're pretty hardy corals. You can keep them low on the sand bed, slowly acclimate them up on your rock work and they grow and do well in a variety of different lighting and they can handle many of your beginner parameter swings as you're still trying to figure things out. Now mushrooms are some of the easiest to propagate so if you dabble in that a little bit you can cut them right in half with their mouth, split them in two and they will heal over time and form two mushrooms or if you just naturally let them grow they'll leave their foot behind and split and multiply and you'll start seeing baby mushrooms scattered throughout. Number four on the list are toadstool leather corals. Now this is easily my favorite soft coral because I've had one with me for 10 years that I originally purchased when it was about the size of a quarter and now it's the size of a dinner plate. Now toadstool corals are extremely hardy and they do well in a variety of different places in your reef tank. They do tend to like a little bit higher lighting and a little bit more water flow because as they grow, they like to shed a coat of their skin that they, they slime over and they shed. So you need that water flow to help constantly push that slime coat off of them so they can continue to grow. As they grow and shed, they may look ugly for a few days up to a week's 
completely fine, this happens to them. But when they bounce back, they look even more beautiful. Now there is quite the variety of leather corals, specifically toadstool leather corals in the reef aquarium hobby. You have some with purple polyps and like this one here that has a green polyp. You have the Japanese blue polyp leather. There's the weeping willow that has long polyps. So there's a wide variety of toadstools for you to choose from. They're great for your reef tank. They add some motion to your aquarium and they also attract fish like clownfish that may decide to live in them. Now, number five on the list is zoanthids. Now, zoanthids are a great addition to any reef aquarium because they handle a variety of parameters and they also do well in a variety of different lighting and levels within your reef tank. You can put them on the sand bed and you can slowly acclimate them up the rockwork until they're midway or even high up on the rockwork and they do really, really well. Now some zoanthids grow a lot faster than others and some just like to take their time. But a really cool thing with zoanthids is that you're able to add a ton of color to your reef tank. So if you're first starting out and you don't know how to get color in your reef tank, zoanthids are great for that because there's just so many different color morphs out there for you to choose from. Now zoanthids can contain palytoxins, so make sure you do your research on that. Um, that those can be harmful to humans, especially children and other animals like dogs. So that's only when they really get upset in the reef aquarium or if you're handling them, you wanna be cautious with that. But overall, majority of zoanthids are gonna be just fine for you. Okay, question of the day. If you are a seasoned reef hobbyist, then let us know in the comments below what soft corals you think should be added to this list. And if you'd like to check out the five undeniable benefits of a cleanup crew, then click on this video right here. And if you would like to see another Coral Reef Talk video, then click right here. And I will see you in the next one.